Yeah, Nicole, there's certainly uh, a lot of backlash right now, uh, according to uh, everything that we've seen based on this law. Governor Brian Kemp getting that really the brunt of it, you know, not just in the court of public opinion, but now in a court of law facing a number of lawsuits. So we did get a chance to talk to him uh, just uh, yesterday uh, and hearing now in his own words how he is actually continuing to defend everything that's in this law. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp is a man under fire. Today, high-profile civil rights groups join together to sue him. Major corporations, including many based in Georgia, are facing boycotts, and there are calls to move or cancel major sporting events, including the iconic Masters Golf Tournament, all in response to the sweeping changes to Georgia elections that Kemp signed into law last week. This whole idea that it's you know, Jim Crow 2.0 and voter suppression is just simply not true. In our one-on-one -on -one interview with Governor Kemp, he defended the law. He says it expands weekend voting and allows three weeks of early voting longer than allowed before the pandemic. We've got as much access and early voting as just about anyone. Governor Kemp says the law makes elections more secure by requiring photo IDs for absentee ballots and limiting where drop boxes can be located. Certainly, though, there are now going to be fewer drop boxes in places where people can deliver their ballots, right? Well, I mean, that's going to be the practical effect of this. Well, the practical effect is you're going to have drop boxes that are secured uh, unlike they were in the last election. The new law also gives the Republican-led state legislature power to fire county elections officials and appoint someone else. It creates a voter fraud hotline, and it bans volunteers from delivering food or water to people waiting in line to vote. That provision has been targeted by President Biden and others. How un-American this whole initiative is. It's sick. Who say it targets minority voting precincts that are more likely to see long lines. The question I would have is, why is that? Why are those v uh, voters being treated like that? They shouldn't be standing in line for two or three or four or five or six hours. And Kemp says the new law provides more voting machines to shorten those wait times. Folks should know that what they're seeing in Georgia is a preview for what's uh, the playbook for Republicans around the country. Francis Johnson is with the New Georgia Project, one of the organizations filing a federal lawsuit challenging the law. Johnson says the law makes sweeping changes that could disenfranchise voters in the name of preventing voter fraud, which has not been a major issue. Let's not mince words here. This is a law seeking a problem. In addition to lawsuits, Georgia-based Delta Airlines, Coca-Cola, and Home Depot are all under pressure to take a stand against the measure. All say they support voting rights, though none condemned the new law outright. Others want Major League Baseball to move this summer's All-Star game out of Atlanta. And today, the National Black Justice Coalition is calling on pro golfers to skip the upcoming Masters Tournament in Augusta, Georgia. The PA has previously issued statements suggesting that they value black lives. The question is, now will you follow that statement up with meaningful action? Now, this could all get complicated legally in the next couple of months because not only is Governor Kemp uh, named in lawsuits on the state level and on the federal level, but Congress is also working its way through two different measures, uh, namely H.R. 1. It's a bill that would make a lot of what's in this Georgia law illegal. So where all of that comes down, again, we're going to have to wait and see uh, as those bills work through Congress and then as uh, this bill specifically works its way through the court system. Reporting live tonight in Washington, D.C., Joe Khalil. News Nation.